by a very quick comment um, in terms of British politics, pensions and fuel. Um, remember, um, there's not going to be a parliamentary vote on this uh, 300 pound uh, cut uh, for millions of pensioners. Uh, at the moment, uh, something like 11 and a half million people um, who were in receipt of this um, 300 pound um, universal uh, uh, payment. Um, there's only one and a half million people um, amongst pensioners who are on credit. That's a means tested um, uh, benefit. Uh, and that would go hand in hand uh, with a winter uh, fuel uh, payment. So um, Rachel Reeves has uh, abolished that. Uh, and at the same time, as her civil servants would have told her, uh, the authorities have announced actually that the price cap uh, is going up and therefore the uh, charge, uh, electri electricity and gas charge uh, that people have to bear has gone up from £1,568 uh, and to £1,717. So roughly speaking, um, pensioners have been hit with um, a £500 uh, cut. Uh, which is quite substantial. Now, I know uh, that there are some uh, rich uh, pensioners, there's no doubt uh, about that, uh, but on average, uh, there'll be an awful lot of pensioners that are just above uh, the um, uh, pension credit uh, limit, and therefore will definitely uh, face a choice this winter, especially if it's a severe winter, uh, between putting the heating on uh, and eating uh, and of course you cannot uh, afford not to eat so people will be switching uh, the heating off uh, and of course um, depending on where you are depending on how severe the winter is that is a killer especially for the particularly elderly uh, or people who are elderly and uh, infirm and it's interesting isn't it it's not surprising, that's what opposition parties are meant to do, but we have uh, Rishi Sunak, the Tories, the Telegraph, the Daily Mail, all leading the charge uh, to protect pensioners. Now it's true uh, that on average, uh, pensioners are more likely to vote Tory uh, than they are Labour or Lib Dem or Green. Uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, that it was the right wing press um, all the way through the Rishi Sunak uh, government and going back uh, that we're talking about what well, we can't afford the triple lock, um, all these universal um, uh, benefits. Uh, this apparently is uh, uh, discrimination in favour of rich people. Well, for rich people, uh, this benefit is marginal. And then you have to also take into account, of course, uh, once you go over to a means test, it, you've got to administer it. Um, Universal has the great advantage of simplicity and also it avoids stigma. Uh, you know, uh, people don't like uh, feeling that they're sort of uh, somehow scrounging because that's what the right wing uh, media uh, talks uh, about when it comes uh, to benefits. As for us, uh, in the CPGB, we stand uh, for uh, 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 universal benefits. We're not in favour of uh, means-tested benefits. We're also in favour of uh, uh, linking um, the pension to the minimum wage, our minimum wage, by the way, uh, not the current uh, minimum wage. And we're also, and I think this is worthwhile saying, we're also in favour of earlier retirement if one wants to. So for example, uh, we're in favour of if you're in a particular hazardous or a particular um, uh, occupation uh, that takes a great deal of physical uh, energy. So for example, a firefighter, uh, we are definitely in favour of the right of firefighters or miners, we used to have miners in Britain, being able to retire at 55. Uh, but in general, we favour 60, uh, but also the right of people, if they want to, to receive a pension, uh, but also to keep working. Uh, and I think that's right. People should have the right uh, to pursue their hobbies, 
go for long walks, look after the grandkids, uh, but also if they want to and they enjoy their work, uh, they ought to have the right, uh, if they can keep doing it, uh, to keep uh, doing it. Pensions should be set um, on the basis of a universal benefit, you can call it um, a universal income. It is an income, it comes into you, it's paid to you when you retire, either at 55 or 60. It's linked um, directly to the uh, minimum wage, our minimum wage, which says that you have to be able to live a full lifestyle. Um, so, yeah, we're in favor of a universal basic income, but it isn't that basic. And the problem with a lot of bourgeois advocates of uh, universal basic income is they actually set it um, at a sort of poverty uh, level and it becomes a substitute for unemployment benefit, housing benefit. And people basically um, who claim it um, are not going to be able to live a full life. They're, they're basic, it's, it's a way for many bourgeois advocates, make the lazy buggers get a job. Um, and uh, we're basically saying, yeah, there should be a right to work. Of course there should. Uh, but also we're in favour of precisely uh, work on the basis of need and all the rest of it. But anyway, so the long and the short answer is uh, no means testing, universal uh, benefits, but universal benefits set at the level of where people can enjoy, and I think that's the right word, enjoy a full life, uh, not just, you know, scrape things together.